Life wins over death and an era of a scientist begins. The crowning glory of tireless hard work. Only when the fire of dedication burns from within will it lead to success. The world has seen many achievers who have given their lives in pursuit of their goals. Here is the story of one such achiever. He is a great personality like Abdul Kalam, a role model of discipline such as Sir M. Vishweshwaraya and one who has made science his life like Sir C. V. Raman. He is an accomplished scientist and has presented his work far and wide. While Vishweshwaraya, Abdul Kalam, H. Narsimaya, Satish Dhawan, C. V. Raman and many others were his inspiration, millions of students across the world look up to him as their inspiration. A master in mathematics, a beloved teacher, a keen investigator, and an experimenter and a student of the sciences for the past four decades. He has now gained worldwide recognition as a scientist due to his talent and diligence. With the aim of assisting students facing hardships, he has set up a system to financially and morally support them. This is Sitaram Sundar Rajan Ayangar currently a professor at Florida International University. S.S. Iyengar's life, work and ideals are truly inspirational. The birth of an ambition in the cradle of Kaveri. In the post-independence era, Sundaraj Ayangar and Mahalakshmi lived in Hemmige, a remote village near Tirumalakudalu, Narsipura. Sundaraj Ayangar worked as an auditor in the then Mysore State Electricity Corporation. A new member was born into this poor Orthodox Ayangar family on 26th August 1947, in the same month that India gained independence. Sitaram Sundarajan Ayengar was born. Even death had to retreat from the successful future that awaited. On the night of its birth, the mother had unconsciously left the infant beside the bed. The infant was soon swarmed by a troop of red ants. The baby's great-grandmother mused that the child surviving the attack was unlikely. But fate had other plans. The great-grandmother then guessed that the infant was due to have a remarkable future and thus the infant was named Sita Rama. The Fight Against the Waves of Poverty Sita Ram Ayengar spent his childhood in miserable poverty. Their shelter was a shack on the river banks of Kaveri and in and even in winter, the cold river was the only means of having a bath. The days were difficult. In 1949, Sundar Raj's family shifted to Bengaluru. They rented a small house in a slum in present-day Sri Rampura for rupees 20. Sundaraj Ayangar's salary then was a sum of rupees 100. The only consolation for the family was that the boy Sita Rama was exceptionally good in his studies. The four-year-old boy was enrolled in a primary school in Nagapa block. At the age of six, the boy had effortless brilliancy in mathematics and English. He completed his middle school education from Sri Rampura Middle School, which, though he had a leaking roof, also had the best teachers. The Turning Point
When Sita Rama Iyengar was 10 years old, he lost a book which his father had bought him at the cost of 1 rupee. It was the day of Gokulashtami, a Hindu festival. Sundar Raj was struggling to maintain the family and so he punished Sita Rama by hitting him. Dejected, Sita Rama sat under the peepal tree wondering why his father punished him, which is when he noticed that poverty was the cause for everything. He realized that education was the only remedy, the only way to eliminate his life's adversities. This was a significant moment in Sita Rama's life. He secured the first rank all through his school life and always strived for something more. He spent his free time in public libraries. He actively participated in seminars and orations. The love for mathematics. After completing his primary education from Shri Rampura Middle School, S S Iyengar joined Sheshadri Puram High School. Here, he had the good fortune to learn from Varada Deshika Char, Sham Bhat, Srinivas Murthy, and many other excellent teachers. The 12-year-old boy who was extremely interested in mathematics was immensely influenced by C V Raman. He was able to solve any problem in mathematics in no time. Dr Narsimha Murthy a professor observed this juvenile talent and anticipated that the boy would grow up to become a great man. S S Iyengar also passed the matriculation exam with first rank. He was extremely interested in physics, chemistry and mathematics. Clearer goals. S S Iyengar's dreams were nurtured in National College Baswanigudi. In 1962 the founder and principal of National College H S Narsimhaiya had returned from Ohio State University America after obtaining a doctorate in nuclear physics At this time S S Iyengar met H S Narsimhaiya and told him of how he wished to study further but was unable to afford the college fees Seeing Iyengar's matriculation marks, H Narsimhaiya enrolled him without any fee. Later, S S Iyengar completed his pre-university with the highest marks in the college. H Narsimhaiya had advised Iyengar to move to America for higher studies as the available opportunities in India were lesser. This idea became firmly rooted in S S Iyengar's thinking. Professors K Sampat Giri Rao and Gopal Swami Iyengar from National College had also heavily influenced S S Iyengar. In 1962 S S Iyengar visited the Raman Research Foundation for a talk by the Nobel Prize winner Sir C V Raman. S S Iyengar often walked to the Indian Science Center to listen to his speeches. <laughs> In 1963 SS Iyengar passed his pre-university examination securing 93%. He sought admission into Government Engineering College now UBCE which was then located at KR Circle. Though enrolling here was a great difficulty Iyengar obtained a seat by requesting the then principal B Narayan Iyengar who admitted him because of his high marks the undeterred walk towards the goal is the only way to success where there is a will there is a way There are two extremely important things in life perseverance and fidelity 
In the first year of engineering, SS Iyengar was unaware of scholarships provided for abroad study programs and inadvertently and inadvertently missed a scholarship of Rs 1,100 that had been offered by Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. He went to the principal in grief, but when he went there, the clerk Nanjundaya informed him of another scholarship opportunity worth Rs 1,200. While he did secure this scholarship, the money had to be returned to the government. Iyengar, however, needed this money. Every penny was important to him. His primary dream was to study in America and to support his dream. He had always had good fortune surrounding him. He secured another scholarship with the assistance of the college principal Narayan Iyengar. S.S. Iyengar graduated from engineering with the first rank. In 1968, he attended a speech by one of his childhood heroes, Subramanian Chandra Shekhar. This was another such incident that greatly influenced him. IISC days and inspiration from Satish Dhawan Later, Iyengar enrolled in prestigious Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, in July 1968. The director of institute then was space scientist and founder of ISRO, Mr. Satish Dhawan. He was an inspiration for numerous students like SS Iyengar who were in need of knowledge. Over 2,000 students were enrolled in various departments in this institute across 48 different divisions. Despite his poverty, Iyengar managed to complete his higher education. He also received valuable suggestions from Mr. Satish Dhawan himself. He had intellectual assistance from Professor M. V. Narsimhan, Professor Rodham Narsimha and Professor C. N. R. Rao. America After graduating from IISC in 1970, SS Iyengar was faced with a quandary. Arvi College gave a collaboration to sign my DV. Our Bandu under his guidance, now we are expecting to grow in, the, in his own field and we are also expected to uh, do further research work in collaboration with the Florida University. We are indeed very, very much happy to have an association with Mr. Iyengar and Mrs. Iyengar and his family. After graduating from IASC in 1970, SS Iyengar was faced with a quandary. While he wished to fulfill his childhood dream of studying in America, his family was still in miserable poverty. He had been offered a job in the National Aeronautical Laboratories by its director, Dr. Velluri. It was his brother Govindarajan who helped him out morally and financially. SS Iyengar went to America in order to pursue his dreams. Yeah! 